So here we are on April 30th, 2021, and I was going to do a short little video of some of the art that I worked on over the past week. So one thing I did this week that's different for me is I finally, finally broke out these alcohol inks that I received as a gift for Christmas from my brother and sister-in-law. Um, I put them on photo paper because I just had some extras that we've never used, and I'm not sure that was the right surface for it or that I have figured out how to use those properly yet. I only tried three colors out of like 24 that came in this set just to see what would happen. They are very vibrant and colorful, which I do like. I got the idea to try to paint some wisteria. Not sure that really captured it. I didn't look at any photos before I tried that. Just went from memory, which is not the solidest plan ever. Just some work with um, just the same green. I like that undersea green. It just does some really cool separation and granulation. And I might go back in and try to add the purple as a separate layer and see if that works a little better. Playing with rainbow colors with my palette knife painting. Very bright and vibrant. Uh, kind of the idea of a color feel. That was kind of what I was practicing. I'm not sure that they usually have them on like symmetrical like that but a large piece again because I'm trying to work a little bit larger back to painting fields of flowers this is inspired by a field of canola that we saw a few years ago when we were up in Canada on a big road trip I like this base layer I think it's nice um, it's a little that's about it though it's a little nice and that's about it it needs probably some definition or some sort of detail added I'm not sure what that would be, that's always the hardest part for me, is doing another layer to complete a painting. This one, oh, that's upside down. I painted this last night, thinking about storm clouds. We had some heavy rain on Wednesday here in Kansas City. Um, I think that indigo makes some really cool effects in the sky. I'm not sure that I like that color for the ground. I think it's a little too neon. And this is a sketchbook, and this is kind of just an example of how I work through some painting sometimes. So this was me trying different colors of yellow with different, a couple different greens and blues to see which one I liked best before I worked in that larger quarter sheet of paper. Um, and that's most of what I accomplished over the last week as far as painting goes. I also kept up with some of my daily paintings for the 100 Day Projects, but... We are almost done with that. I have about three days left to go.